Hello, everything is fine. Seguinte. Now let's configure SAP logon for the scripting part, which has to be configured to accept scripting requests from our programs. Tá. Let's open the program. Let's see what happens. Let's see here. We will click here on these three dots, options. Let's go here on scripting accessibility. And scripting. The script is installed. Enable script, notify, notify and display. In our case, to have better performance, we only check the box to activate scripts and not notifications, right? Because if not, every time there is a scripting manipulation it will be playing a message on the screen so just activate scripting and here it is installed apply and ok right? It's just a detail. It may also be necessary to configure the server, so if that's the case, if you bought remote access, the staff will configure access for you. If you work in a company, your IT team will release this for you, okay? Unless that company allows you to have access to the transaction that affects that, then you will be able to manage it yourself, okay? I'm going to do here how you would do it, just to illustrate. I've already created my connection here. I'm going to log on. I log in here. Tá. The transaction is ours 11. Okay. When you click on the ours 11, it appears like this. What command are you going to execute on this res11? You execute the command sapgibara user underline scripting. You put this command here and press enter. Let's wait ready this one. It gives a result here. See that in my case. It is giving below the current value. It is saying it's true. What does that mean? This means that the server is already enabled, right? But let's assume that here was false, right? Since it's up here, it's false. This means that the server would be disabled. Dado. So I would have to enable this function. So what would I have to do? I came here and modify value and here where it is new I would type true. If I want to disable it I would put here what I would put false but how do we want true? It would be true and I would save. Mine is already true. There is nothing to do. Right? Save. Save and it would be enabled. It's okay. So that was the setup in this scripting question. First, enable it on your computer and second, if applicable and if you have access to enable it there in SAP in transaction RZ11. Alright, until next time.